Hi YouTube, this is Rochelle coming at you uh, from Designer Chick to review my new GHD flat iron that I got from Sephora. And it took about 10 days to get here, so I'm super excited to finally get it. Um, and with all the reviews and everything, when people discover and they have the fake GHDs, I want to make sure that I got it from an approved GHD dealer. Sephora, got it, paid for it, it's finally here, so um, I just wanted to share it with you and you tell me whether it's worth $270. Take everything out. And voila! Here it is! Bam! And it's pink. I thought I wanted the white one. I don't know, everybody's got the white one. I don't see that many people with the pink one. At least not on YouTube, so I'm trying to be different. Plus, it matches my shirt, so there you go. Alright, now let's see if anything else is in the box because that was just one sample. Okay. Alright, Sephora. Okay, I'll get to it later. We're, we're talking about the GHD. <laughs> okay, now. So here it is. Um, it's not that heavy. Probably about I don't know, six, seven pounds. So I'm going to open it up and just slide this little box off. Instructions or anything in there, just pretty graphics. And I guess I should show you this. It comes in this black box here. And okay, it's not special there. And you open it up and it's got a little product guide here. Okay. Okay, it's got a product guide. And the dish that's just hanging out like this. Now, I don't know if that's right or if it just popped off. And I'm guessing it just popped off because it looks like, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like it's supposed to be like that, but the disc was out. So I, I'm hoping nobody else had this, but work with me. Okay, so now, here it is. We're going to open it up, take the plastic off. And here it is. Matches perfectly. Okay, now about these holograms and cords and things. Let's just see what's happening with that. Okay, now some people have been getting the fake ones by accident because they didn't know, but I've been doing my research and I know it's supposed to be some holograms on here and where they're not supposed to be too in certain kind of cords. So immediately opening it, opening it, I can see that there's a hologram right here on the inside. I don't know if you can, it's like right there. See it in the rainbow pattern. Anyway, it's right there. Um, it's supposed to have some serial numbers on it, which it does. And I also need to call GHD to see if um, everything's straight with it, if it's the actual product, but it is. It's from their distributor, so I'm hoping so. And I was told that there should be no um, hologram on the core tag. And as you can see, there's, oops, there's no hologram whatsoever. So, that's a good sign. And the fourth way to tell is that it has this plug, and not a regular plug, for some kind of safety reasons. I don't know, but it has it. So, I think I got a real one, so this is good. Um, the cord is pretty long, it's pretty sturdy. The cord is pink. Love that. I was hoping it wasn't like a black cord. I guess I could have just did the picture, but I didn't. Um, so everything looks good. It's got the GHD on the side here. And it's got my little LED light. So it looks good. So what I'm going to do is right now my hair is looking a mess. And it's a little dirty. So I'm going to have to go wash it and braid it up. And then come back and test it out and see if it's really worth it. So stay tuned didn't quite get a chance to finish what I was doing. Um, I was able to wash my hair yesterday, but obviously I have to give it some time to dry and it just didn't work. So here we are next day and I'm going to finish my little tutorial, or not tutorial, but my review on the GHD. Um, I guess I should start off by telling you a little bit about my hair before we start. Uh, my hair, it's not thick, super thick. It's it looks like it, but when you press it, it gets really, really flat and thin, but it still has a curl to it, so it just doesn't come out looking right. Um, 
yeah basically what's going on with my hair right now is I haven't quite been taking care of it like I should um, over the last few months year or something like that I really haven't conditioned it and, and done what I need to do so it, it kind of has been thinning out a little bit um, when I washed it I've been trying some new products and when I washed it I used um, the main and tail deep conditioning deep moisturizing shampoo I got it at the beauty supply store um, for $3.99 uh, and then I followed up with the main and tail deep moisturizing conditioner $3.99 as well beauty supply store I don't typically use these products but like I said my hair was in pretty bad shape I just used over the last couple of weeks Afog I believe that's how it's pronounced I used it before but I don't think I did it correctly and I couldn't come through it but I watched a tutorial by Atea and her hair was gorgeous thanks Atea and I used it for two weeks so I got these little packs and it was like maybe three four dollars instead of buying the big bottles I wanted to test it the keratin two minute condition two minute treatment or reconstructor anyway you put it in after you wash your hair and you let it sit and comb it and rinse it out and not comb it but just rinse it out and my hair is in a lot better shape now it's actually got a little bit of sheen to it um, it was easier to comb through um, a lot didn't come out so it's getting better what I'm going to be using other than my GHD here is my trusty trusty Kimmy oil don't know if anyone else uses this but I do I've been using this for years it's one of the best oils that I've had it's light it smells really really good and you just need a little bit um okay get it in there so there it is and this bottle was $7.99 um like I said I've been using it for years and I love it it gives a nice sheen to your hair and it's got I don't know if it's all natural but there's no animal testing and it smells good and I love it your hair so good. um and then I'm going to be using this Chi Silk Infusion stuff. Now, I don't really know much about this product other than a lot of people using it. It's supposed to make your hair feel really silky. Like I said, I haven't been taking care of my hair, so this is new to me. So I'll let you know, you know, how, how it works. Or I'm, again, I'm not even sure how to use it. So if I do something wrong, please let me know, because I don't know. Um, and then a lot of the times when I used to flatten my hair. What I would do is just grease my scalp and then I'd put a little bit of the grease on there. I guess that was my protector and then go ahead and flat iron it. But it did weigh my hair down a lot, especially now that it's, you know, thinned out a little bit. Um, so I'm going to try this Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. Here that is. And I don't know how much this was. <laughs> it wasn't a lot and I'm sure it's, it's a common thing. It was at the drugstore. It was like $3 or something like that. I got it at Walgreens. And, oh, by the way, I don't know if you need to know how much this costs, but I got it for like $14.99 at um, Marshall's. And the thing about it, just to let you know, I went to Walgreens to get this. And I got a little itty bitty bottle for $13.99. I think it was a two ounce bottle. And then I went to Marshall's for something. I don't know what it was. But I saw this and okay, we had to do an exchange. So I took that back at Walgreens and I got this one. And this is like the six ounce one. So I think I saved myself some money. Or either I burned up some gas. I don't know. Um, so here we go. And what I do after I wash my and condition my hair, I just kind of detangle it. And I put, this time I put a little bit of the cheese silk infusion on there. And I section it off. Well, I section it off first and then I comb it through. And then I just kind of twist it up because a lot of times, well, obviously I didn't have a good flat iron. So what I would do is take it a loose and it kind of leaves a, a slight little wave. And then I just kind of finger part it with my finger or kind of separate it with my fingers. And wear it like this, throw a headband on, put some sheen on, and it was, you know, pretty easy. Pretty easy to manage. The only setback is that. I have to wait a couple hours for my hair to dry, um, but I'm not going to you know, show you the whole thing, but that's basically how I would do it and put a headband on or something. Oh, by the way, I put some makeup on if, you, if I look a little bit different. I don't know. If you like it, let me know. Get, I'm new to the makeup thing, but um, I love it. I've just discovered this. I absolutely love it. So anyway, back on to the hair. We're doing GHD. Sorry, I diverted. My bad.